abstract Yeah, it's complicated What you say, the way you act Well, it makes me so confused I don't know what to do Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part one to my ultimate home declutter slash deep clean slash minimize slash simplify my home series. I had no clue what to call this, but all I know is I'm going from one side of the house to the other and we are going to completely reset my whole entire house. Since having baby Oliver, I have been extremely overwhelmed by my house. The daily cleaning tasks are taking over my whole life. And I'm sure if you're a new mom, you understand. I am just so ready to simplify our home so that we can spend more time as a family having fun rather than cleaning. If you are feeling similar and you just cannot get yourself to climb out of that everyday mundane rut, you came to the right place. This is going to be a four week series and I'm super excited to get my entire house completely reset just in time for spring. Today I'm going to start out in the back corner of our house where our laundry room and cleaning closet are. This area has never been my favorite part of our house. It stays cluttered. It's never functional for us and I'm constantly using it as a place to shove things that I don't want to deal with. So today we're going to pull everything out of both of these <laughs> both of these rooms. They're actually kind of like closets. We're going to pull everything out and we are just going to get everything reset and end this clutter. If you're excited for this series, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed I would love to have you but let's get this started I'm starting out in our cleaning closet because I figured this is the area where I'm going to keep coming back this whole entire series to grab stuff that I need and it was trashed so I decided to pull everything out and wipe it all down with my grapefruit method spray. That stuff smells so good. I'm going to be cleaning the floors in here. Our water heater lives in here so I'm going to be cleaning out that tray on the bottom. Our trash can also lives in here so everything that misses the trash can falls in that little tray of the water heater or on the floor and it's just so gross in here. So we're gonna get it all cleaned up and reorganize our cleaning supplies, get rid of everything that we don't use or don't want, and then organize the rest. But when it comes to clutter in our house, I really feel like the main issue is laundry. And I don't think it's because we have like an overabundance of clothes, even though we probably have way too many. We need to go through that and declutter too. But I really feel like the main issue is we just do not have a home for everything. And every time I'm looking at TikToks or Reels or YouTube videos about people that have went minimal, they always talk about having a home for everything. And it makes me so inspired because I'm like, stuff in my home is just everywhere. <laughs> we don't have a home for anything. If something's in the way, we just move it to another place where it's gonna be in the way later. And it just causes a problem later on rather than solving the problem. And so that's kind of my goal with this whole series is to find a home for everything in my home. And that way it's just easier to manage um, on a daily basis with a baby. Because with a baby, you hardly have any time to clean except for after they go to bed. And it's just exhausting. So I want everything to be super easy to manage. I want to get rid of a lot of stuff because I know that an abundance of stuff can also cause a lot of stress. So that's my goal for this series. But y'all just wait, this video is just the beginning. This is just like the very, we're barely touching the surface. So next week we're going to get even deeper into the kitchen. We're going to do the pantry in some later video. I'm not sure when we're going to get to what, but in later videos, we're going to get to my master bedroom closet. We're going to declutter clothes. We're going to get to some never before seen closets that are absolutely terrible. <laughs> so this series is going to take you through my whole entire house and get everything reset and I'm hoping that I can be a better mom, a better wife, and just be able to feel good about my house and be able to manage it well on a daily basis because I'm tired of feeling overwhelmed with all of the clutter. Let me know down in the comments below if y'all feel that way too, but that's kind of what this whole series is about 
And then at the very end of the series, which is the very last Sunday in February, I'm going to be getting ready for spring and I'm so excited to power wash the outside of our house, get a really pretty wreath and decorate for spring minimally, of course, because I don't want to bring a bunch more clutter into my house, but I am so excited to have a fresh home for spring and to have lots of fresh flowers and all of that jazz. So super excited about that. And that is what I'm working toward. Okay, I'm gonna stop real quick and take a chips and salsa break because I'm so hungry but I wanted to show y'all how I sorted this out real quick so I put all of the garage stuff slash grilling stuff right here just random things that made their way into that closet um, I've always had this little thing of tape and it's come in so handy every time I need tape I can find it so I think I'm gonna keep that for tape I've got all of my scrubby cleaning supplies right here scrubby gloves and then over here I have all of my cleaning supplies I'm gonna sort through those in just a second and decide what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of I have a little pile over there of stuff I know that I want to get rid of. I need to clean all these bins out. I've got some cleaning supplies that I need to take to the garage. And then just some random things that I didn't know what to do with. So here in just a second, after I take a little snack break, we're going to go and organize all that. Here recently I've been following a lot more people on Instagram and TikTok that are minimalists and it's to try to get me to become inspired to declutter my home and make it a lot more simple to manage. So when it comes to stuff like this where I have a ton of bins and a ton of stuff to put back in them, I'm trying to be really aware of what I use on a daily basis and then whatever I don't use get rid of it. So as we're putting things back, I'm going to leave a little wiggle room, leave some room for stuff that we find throughout the house as we declutter. Also leave a little bit of room for stuff that I might want to buy. And that's one of the coolest tips that I've seen from minimalists is they leave room. So instead of filling everything back up with everything that they love, they leave that wiggle room. And that makes so much sense because every time I've ever decluttered my home, I've had so much fun putting all of my stuff back and making it look really full and labeling it and then I find something else and I'm like oh, it doesn't fit <laughs> and so this is a really great way to make sure you have a home for everything when you find something else throughout your house you will have a place to put it because you didn't fill up that bin so that's my goal here I am going to keep most of my cleaning supplies because that's what I do for a living but as far as like junk or gadgets that I've not used in six months or so I'm gonna put those in the trash and we're going to leave these bins with a little bit of wiggle room for stuff that we find throughout the house. This basket is going to be full of stuff that I'm going to take to the garage. Some decorations that needed to go to my little decoration chest out there. And then some of Will's grilling stuff. And here in just a second, I'm going to explain what I put in all of these bins. Okay, I finally got it all sorted out. I have this cute little beverage dispenser that I've had for years and I've never once used it. In fact, I don't even think it fits underneath our countertop with that stand. So I think I'm gonna give that to my mom. Um, so for the bins, we have a car basket with all of our turtle wax products or armor all, things like that. I actually use all of that on my car so I didn't wanna get rid of anything. This basket is full of all of my general cleaning supplies that I use kind of on a daily basis. The hydrogen peroxide and vinegar, we use that for our carpet cleaner, so I'm leaving that in there. And there's a lot of wiggle room in there. I can move stuff around and fit more stuff in because I have yet to clean underneath my kitchen sink and I know we're gonna find a lot more cleaning products under there. So um, for this basket, I have all of my gadgets. I have my steamer, I have this scrubber thing for the tub. I have our carpet, the little thing that gets the beads off of the couch. I don't know what that's called. Um, 
And then I have this basket that's kind of empty, but I think I'm going to use this as like a little party basket where we keep extra party supplies. I've got crepe paper and curling ribbon, little tea lights, things like that. I don't know why I feel like that makes sense in a cleaning closet, but <laughs> I'm going to leave that there for now because it's actually kind of handy. And then I'm going to use this one for all of our cleaning rags. I've got a scrubber basket, so all of our sponges, scrubby gloves, toothbrushes that we use for cleaning, things like that. And then over here we have all of our... Um, hand sanitizers, hand soaps, and then one random candle. I told you I've been trying to use up all of my candles and we pretty much have so we just have like some random ones sitting around. And then some tape and then as for stuff that we're throwing away, I have these for my spice cabinet. We organized our spices a couple years back and I think I'm going to give those to whoever wants them um, because I'm going to redo my spice cupboard here soon. It's just a hot mess and we've had lots of them fall and break and we need a matching set. So need to get rid of those. That little Keurig thing goes to my old Keurig whenever I was a teacher. And I gotta find the person, I don't remember who I gave that to, <laughs> but I gotta find the person that got the Keurig because that's the other part to it. And um, that stuff's going out in the garage. This over here is all the stuff I threw away. This caraway thing holds the lids to your pans, but I've held onto it for so long and never once used it. And I know no one else can use it because it's for caraway pans. So I'm just gonna ditch that and a bunch of other random like screws and nails that we've never touched that came with like certain things that we have bought. So, sometimes you just have to ditch stuff just to get it out because you've had it for way too long. That's me. I keep like little tools and stuff for like Oliver's dresser and recliner and things like that and you never end up touching it and it's just wasted space. So, I picked up or I picked up. I organized this basket for my bathroom cleaning supplies and I like having this to tote around whenever I'm doing the bathrooms because the bathrooms are on two separate sides of the house so that's really handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and label all of these and put them back in. You gotta help me disappear From all those voices that I fear Okay, this closet looks so much better. I'm so excited to have my cleaning rags on the bottom right there, really easily accessible with all of my hand soaps and cleaning supplies and then party supplies and gadgets right there. Bathroom tote at the top with the tape tote. Um, I have to label all of these, but I forgot I don't have transfer tape, so I'm going to run to Walmart later today and we'll finish that up in a little bit. You got the mind to see what's coming Enjoy my ears when I can't hear You know what's right from wrong, what to say and what to wear. You know there's more than I can bear. Alexa, add trash can to cleaning list. Trash can add it to clean. I lean on you. As I went throughout this day, I would add things to my cleaning list on Alexa of things that I want to get for the house. And one of those things was a trash can because ours has so many nooks and crannies that get really gross and I can't reach the spots that I need to clean. So for now, I'm going to wipe it down with some spray way. I wiped the inside out with some Lysol, um, but I would love to get a trash can that's a lot simpler and fits in this closet a little bit better. So I added that to our list. Also, I told y'all I was going to go to Walmart and get some uh, transfer tape so I can make some labels for those bins in here. And I never did make it to Walmart this day to get some transfer tape. So we're not going to make labels quite yet. The before of this is so bad. I can't believe I let it get this trashed, but it looks so much better now. But I think for now we're going to leave the labels off. That way, if this doesn't work for us, then we can move things around. But before this four weeks is over, you will probably see these getting labeled. <laughs> Okay, now that the cleaning closet is figured out, I want to go in the laundry room and try to declutter these baskets up here. I really need to get rid of all of those holiday towels and put them in the garage and the Christmas totes. And Lord knows what's in those other two baskets. I don't know what's up there. I think it's some stuff for Opie. This cabinet right here needs to be organized. These are all of Opie's towels. And I feel like I could store these somewhere else maybe um, and make more room in here for other stuff. But I kind of like them right there. I don't know. I used to keep all of my beach towels right here, but it looks like Will put a fitted sheet there. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my beach towels and my sheets. I used to store my sheets in our bathroom closet at the very top, but they're overflowing in there too. So I may move the sheets in here and then move the beach towels in there. I've got a huge basket of socks that I need to match. Um, half of those we don't 
wear or there's just not a match to them so I need to go through those um and then there's always this pile of laundry normally it's in a hamper but I took the hamper in the living room um that's all the stuff I need to wash today but anyways this laundry room never looks good it's always just cluttery and there's no rhyme or reason to it so let's get in here and pull everything out wipe everything down and figure out what we want to do My favorite part of decluttering is pulling everything out of a space and watching it become nothing land. <laughs> I don't like the part of having to sort through everything. I don't like the part where another part of my house gets trashed in the meantime. That really stresses me out. But pulling everything out of a space and watching it become clean space is just so refreshing and getting everything wiped down and smelling good. So that's my favorite part, but that's what we're doing right here in the laundry room. I'm pulling all of the baskets out. We're gonna sort through all of that stuff, wipe everything down and figure out where we want it. Never was the last word that I heard you say before you hung up the phone. Silence. Never thought that it would go this way with you. Wanted me gone. I don't believe in no. Just last week you called me your babe. Now you're letting go. The way you're talking is driving me insane. Hello. Can we sit and talk this through for once before you cut off the show? Cause even if we're hanging by a thread, by a thread And the words you said is spinning in my head, in my head I just wanna pull you closer in this bed, in this bed Take me back into your arms and I'll never let you down, let you down Our washer and dryer are actually rather old. I'm not sure what year they're from, but we got them from a family member and they are probably 20 years old. I don't know. I don't know anything about appliances. All I do know is they will not give up. They work so well. Our washer and dryer is awesome. We love them. Our fridge is also really old and will not give out. So older appliances were definitely made hardier, I feel like. And so I'm super thankful for those. But I thought about that because I was trying to clean in between the washer and dryer to get all of like the lint and socks and hair ties out. And I could barely get these to budge. So when they do give out and we have to get a new washer and dryer, I really feel bad for the person that has to move these out because they are a tight squeeze. But I pulled them apart as best I could and got all of the lint and stuff out. Swept that up. We're going to get these floors mopped up and then move some stuff back in. if y'all saw that or not but I just pulled a pizza pan out from behind our dryer and I had saved that there because I, I wanted it out of sight out of mind but I wanted to save it because it was actually the only pan Will and I had for like the first two years of our marriage um, or maybe just the first year but we cooked everything on that pan and for some reason I thought it was a good idea to save it as a keepsake so <laughs> that's why that was there I finally decided to get rid of it because that's super weird we're gonna get all of this junk swept up and mop in here I'm going the grid texting back i want you hit you up i'm on the other side i miss you miss you take you off i came your way to strong cannot keep it low key got me drugged your pheromones hit the roof auto your taste it's really a bad reception out there where are you heading why in gravity pulling you in closer to me I've 
That basket is full of our dog's towels. I went ahead and took all the white ones out of there because our towels are white and I didn't want to get his and ours confused. So all of the dog's towels are yellow and all of ours are white. And then next to that, I just added our staple laundry items, our Gain powder detergent, our Downy Bliss fabric softener, and then our scent beads. On top, I am going to make that a shelf for our sheets. And as I go throughout this series, you're going to see where I used to store my sheets, which is in our master bedroom bathroom, and they were overflowing, and we don't even use those sheets, y'all. We had a bunch of sets of sheets that we don't use, so I'm going to donate all of those sheets and just keep two extra sets for us. So that gives us three sets of sheets, plus we have like seasonal sheets in all of our seasonal bins, so way too many sheets for one bed, and we're going to just get rid of it. That's what we're doing with this series is decluttering, so... That's That little shelf is going to be used for sheets. For these three baskets, I'm going to make one for household items like command strips, batteries, um, the little click lights, things like that. And then one bin will be for Opie's stuff, his little rain jacket, his um, doggy bags, all of that stuff will be in one. And then I'm going to leave one basket empty. Look at me go. I don't ever do that. But I'm thinking I'll just put all of the stray socks in there. Y'all saw me separate that huge basket of socks earlier. I'm going to go through all of those socks in a future video, and we're going to match them or get rid of them. And then we'll have a fresh basket full of, or not full of, thank God. Um, we're going to have a fresh basket to put the missing socks, and I'll have to just declutter that on like a weekly basis to try to keep it nice and tidy in here. So that's the key with decluttering. You have to stay decluttering or else it gets messy again. So I'm just trying to make that as easy as possible make some empty spaces, and it just feels so good in here now. Now it is time to take out the trash. The best part of decluttering is physically taking that junk out of your house, whether it's to donate it or to your trash bin. But thank y'all so much for watching today. I hope it motivated you to tackle something in your home. Make sure to stop back by on Thursday for a day in the life with me and baby Oliver. And then again on Sunday for part two of this series. But I love y'all so much and I'll see you soon. Bye. Your worries, let your problems